Right, so now we're going to look at implementing what we planned out in the first screencast in assignment two. So we're going to bring back our breadboard now. Okay, and again, we're, we're going to follow what we set out to do in terms of what pins go with what, right? So we also notice that this is um, A, B here. So what, what, what happens is we're going to have input um, and we're going to connect that, those inputs to the ground, right? So um, also notice that we have pin 1 of OR connected to pin 2 of N, pin 2 of OR connected to pin 1 of N. We're just going to have a wire that connects those holes, okay? <coughs> so we'll start with, with that, okay? So OR gate is down here. And so we're going to take pin 1 of the OR gate, make a connection to pin 2 of the AND gate. There we go, right? Because that's what we said we would do. We would connect uh, pin 1 of the OR gate to pin 2 of the AND gate. So that's what we just did there, right? Okay. Pin 1, pin 2. All right. So let's move on to the next one, and which is um, pin two of the OR gate, okay, to pin one of the AND gate. Okay, so now what we have here in, in, the, in our diagram is we have pin three of the OR gate going to pin 13 of an AND gate. So let's do that. So pin three of the OR gate to pin 13 of the AND gate. So again, it's a matter of being careful, a matter of being following you know, your plan details. So that's pin 3 of the OR gate. Pin 13 of the AND gate is right there. Right, so that's a big jump there from pin the output to an input in the AND gate. All right. All right, so let's continue. So let's take a look at what's happening with the, with the AND gate. So the AND gate, we got pin 3 of the AND gate. One of them is going, actually it's splitting off. One is going to the NOT gate, but another same same hole will go to, to one of the, our lights. So let's talk about our lights here for a second. So here's, here's our light. Notice that um, the light has a long wire and a short wire. The long wire is the one where the power goes to and the short wire is what's grounded. So I'm just going to put the carry light right here. Okay, so notice that the short one, the short one is going to be this hole, right? And then that would be, that would be the long one. Short, long. So I'm going to, we're going to um, go ahead and ground uh, shorter one so we're just going to cross over yeah we're, we're grounded we grounded our, our light notice that I can cross these wires because they're they're shielded by the, the plastic sheeting that they have so there's no contact but be very careful that you don't have the actual wires can contact each other the metal parts of it because then you won't be getting the right signals All right, so we've grounded that light and again that light it will be the carry light and pin 3 from the end gate will go there so pin 3 to the long wire so pin 3 of the end gate is here Okay, that's pin 3, and I'm connected to, okay, so again, pin 3, yes, when more wires get in, it's going to get a bit more confusing, but this is pin 3, 2, right there, okay, it's connected to the hole right beside if we put it on the other side, it might be a bit clearer, so we'll just put it on the other side. Same thing again. Those, those wires are connected. Those holes are connected. Okay, so it's the same row as that long wire. 
Okay, so now we've um, done this part. We've done this part. So let's go to that not gate. So pin three, the one that went to the light, that same one is actually going to connect to to uh, to a knot. So whatever um, electricity is flowing from this uh, output of the end gate will go towards the not gate and also towards the light. All right, so let's make a connection from pin three to the not gate. So pin three, all right, side by side with the wire that went to the light. I'm going to put it to pin one of the not gate. So as you can see there, okay, so that's the white wire there, connect pin 3 to pin 1. And so we have now the output of that is going to pin 12 of the end gate. Remember the end gate that we used earlier, one from the OR gate. So pin 2 to pin 12. Pin 2 to pin 12. Pin 2 of the NOT gate to pin 12. So right there, okay. All right. So you notice that is that's pin twelve, and this is pin two of the knot. So basically, there's only one wire left from our diagram. We've done all the wires. The only thing left is pin eleven of the AND gate to the sum light. This time we're going to use an, an, a red LED. For this again, note the long wire and the short wire. The short wire is going to go to ground, and the other one is going to be powered up. All right, so we're just going to make a connection from from the ground of the red LED light, which is this is this one. Okay, that one. Okay, and connect it to the ground. And again, we're using this that's going to connect to the ground of the battery. So we're using that row, column, sorry. Right. And we've got one left, and that is pin uh, 11 of the end. So pin 11 of the end. Okay, pin 11 of that end, right, to the bat, to the, uh, to the light. Okay, so pin 11 of the end, follow the yellow wire into pin, into the hole or the uh, long wire of the uh, LEDs. All right, so we've actually done all our wiring. Now it's time to check it out. So before we do that, then we need to specify an AB. So AB is the one that again that connects to uh, to the OR gate one and two, and in one and two. So it doesn't really matter um, which we plug into, whether it's going to be the the OR or the N. We'll just pick the one at the top. So we'll pick the one at the top. So we're going to connect right there. That's going to be A. Blue is going to be A. In orange. So I've connected to pin 1 and pin 2 of the AND gate, which also connects to pin 1 and pin 2 of the OR gate. Right? So blue will be A, and orange will be B. All right. Now, with these gates, I'm going to connect our battery. With, with these gates, once you power them up, all the inputs actually are one. So to actually get a zero, you actually uh, will have to ground. That's why these A and B will get a zero when we push them into the ground. So that's a zero, right? So when they're not in, the input, when it's not in, it's not grounded, the input is actually one to those, to those uh, inputs. Okay, so, and how are we going to check it? Well, from our uh, document you know, for assignment two, we see that if 
if A is 1 and B is 1, right? If A is 1 and B is 1, carry would be 1. So carry is our green light, and sum should be 0, so it shouldn't light up. So the S light and the red light shouldn't light up. That's how we know we're, we've got it correct. Okay. So uh, as soon as we power it up, and I'm not grounding my A and B, uh, that would mean that we'll be looking at that first line. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. So, so here's our here's our red here's our red wire from from the battery and I'm going to connect it okay and now here is here is my ground I'm connected to that all right so let's go see what happened to the lights so you'll notice that my green light is on and my green light's on and my red light's off so that's that's perfect that's exactly what we want carry is 1 sum is 0 Right? That's what we got right there. All right. So now, what if we ground B? So we're looking at B is 0, A is 1. So I'm going to ground B, orange, onto the ground. You see what happened there? Right? So the red light's on, the green is off. It's perfect. That's, again, that's what we wanted. A is 1, B is 0, and we got the carrier of 0 and the sum of 1. Good. Now we're going to do the opposite. Uh, we're going to ground A and keep. But again, notice that red light's on, right? Okay, so A is 0, B is 1, and we've got the correct output. Now if I ground both, if I ground both, A is 0, B is 0, both lights should go on because 0 plus 0 is 0. So here we go. I'm going to round, ground both. Watch the lights go off. Lights go off. Perfect. So we did our end, our half adder. We wired it properly, and uh, we did it successfully. Great job.